Of course, I got like four of the big ones. Only one little one. It rolled right underneath the car. Of course it did. All right, no fuel leaks. Give this another go, shall we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hold it. I'm going to try to crank it, holding the trigger, watching for a flash. Making sure not to get that stuff caught. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Well, the only thing we have left then is modules. Those I can't check. <sighs> Alright, well let's let me find another module. I got I got a couple more up here. Let me dig one out. All right, before we dig too far, quick test light on the power lead to the coil. See if we still get 12 volts. I'm going to try to eyeball it while I'm cranking, too. We're getting 12 volts. I'm thinking module. Let me grab another one. Change that out. Alright, well, I got two more to play with. Just typical little GM. I got two of them. That's an original GM labeled one that I don't know. Only important thing is on this metal piece that bolts down into the distributor. Do not use dielectric grease. Heat sink compound. And it transfers the heat out of this guy into the base of the distributor. Heat is usually what kills these damn things. Uh, sometimes they go flaky only when they're warm, yada, 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 yada. Um, I'll probably, once I figure out what, uh, why it's not starting, I'm going to bring another one. I'm going to bring the rest of these to the auto shop and test them out. I got a little tester they can run. And also, while I'm that far deep, I'm going to check the pickup coil, and it's a magnetic pickup coil, so there's, I checked online, it's like 900 ohms-ish uh, between the two wires that go down to the center of the distributor, and there's that magnetic reluctor ring. Um, so I'll check that too while we're in there and see what that looks like. Well, would you look at this? So here's the, uh, all it is is a little condenser uh, capacitor, and then those are the wires that run up to the distributor. I was putting this other, the uh, module back in, but watch this shit. I'm like, really? That felt real light. What the hell? So I went and grabbed another one. Check this out. Maybe that's it. Aftermarket friggin' uh, little connector. That one's nice and tight. This one, all oh, fucking loosey goosey. Barely makes electrical contact. I wonder. Well, let's work on getting this back together. That is bizarre. Why is it so loose? I think I'm going in. 
Alright, and here's an original GM one. Oh yeah, see that's nice and tight too. And it's got the little latch. Yep. I think I'm going to put this one in it. That may have been it. That loosey goosey connector for the module. Chinesium bullshit. Alright. Well, I'm not going to spritz it at first. We'll see if she fires up. Take care guys, see ya.